Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. Mikel Bridges has been one of the most important players in Phoenix so far this season, and one development has been his pull-up jumper. But first, let's look at his stats so far this season, averaging 16 points per game, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, shooting incredibly efficient from the field, being nearly a 50-40-90 guy, and also impacting at the defensive end of the floor. His game, though, really took a jump this season, and you can see it with his creation off the bounce, as specifically his pull-up jumper. So here are some numbers. 40% of his shots are coming from the mid-range. He's shooting 44% from mid-range, 46% from short mid-range, and 38% from long mid-range. This video is going to break down his pull-up jumper and his mid-range game to see what he does to allow him to be so efficient from these areas of the floor. So this first portion of the video will look at his regular pull-up jumper and see what allows him to be so successful with this shot. So this clip here against Miami, we're going to really dive into his feet. So as he comes off the screen by Aiton, he gets downhill. See how he lands on both feet before elevating. Getting both feet down is essential to being efficient in the mid-range and with any pull-up jumper. Both feet down here against Houston, allowing him to elevate efficiently, rise up, and knock down the shot. Here against Chicago, we'll have another example. He bounces back, he comes downhill with his right hand. He dribbles into space, gets both feet down in that open area of the floor, rises up, and knocks it down. Now let's look at more of the top of the shot. So as you look at these clips, you can also see that the elevation that he gets himself allows him to release at the top of his elevation and he has great length allowing it really hard to contest. So he'll get downhill, land, get both feet set, rise up and fully extend his arm to finish. Once Bridges gets his feet down, his incredible size, length and athleticism make it very hard to contest his mid-range jump shot. Now we're going to look at Mikel's transition fade. This shot has become signature for him this season, and we're going to dive into what exactly a transition fade is first. So you'll see here against Chicago in the next clip against Sacramento that it's a pull-up jumper using your momentum as a way to fade. So in both these clips, he's going to his left and he's fading up and away from the defense using his momentum. Here against Minnesota, he gets both feet down. He elevates and he's fading to the left. That fade to the left makes this a transition fade. This shot has become synopsis with Mikel's pull-up game in general. He does a great job when he does get downhill specifically to his left and he gets his feet down. He uses his momentum of his driver, of his cut to rise up and knock down shots with more space created while in the air. This fade all happens in space in the air, making it very tough for a defense to first adjust to the shot and secondly, get a good contest. CJ McCollum's really good at this shot too, using his momentum to create even more of an advantage off of the bounce to get off a good look from mid range. To sum up Mikel's growth in the mid-range, it all starts with a great base. He has improved his ability to get both feet down, be on balance, and elevate. These three things allow you to be highly efficient in the mid-range, and that transition fade is another way at which your balance and momentum allow you to use that to create even more space to knock down these shots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Mikel and his mid-range game. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we will catch you in the next one.